hello good afternoon good evening good morning from wherever you're watching me from and um you welcome back to my channel my name is olivia if today is the first time of seeing this face thank you welcome don't mind my glasses i just needed to change the look <laughs> anyways i hope it, it looks good on me okay yeah thank you so much for being here um all my returning subscribers i really appreciate each and every one of you thank you for always coming around okay and if you're new to my channel please make sure to hit on the subscribe button just a click away from you and when you do hit on the bell sign beside the subscribe button that way you'll be notified of any of my subsequent videos okay yes in honor, i'm a nigerian migrant who lives here in south africa and i've been living here for some some time now and um, i made a, a previous video which titled how south africa has changed me this is just an opposite of that video in today's video i'm just going to be talking about nigerian behaviors that i have dropped since i moved to south africa that's things i normally would do you know while i lived in nigeria and i no longer do those things because south african behavior has taken over okay <laughs> so yes um let's jump right into the video without further ado um, the first nigerian behavior that i've dropped as a nigerian who is currently in south africa is fixing things yes <laughs> like in nigeria normally anything that breaks you fix we don't we are not um accustomed to buying new things like okay let me just put it this way if something like your iron breaks in nigeria stops working you take it to um the people that repair iron if your blender stops working you take it to people that fix it even if your slippers breaks you fix it okay you take it to the shoemakers that everywhere that fix shoes and slippers and and all that or even your clothes we mend clothes a lot uh, if your clothes tears and all that there are a lot of people that do those kind of you know things work in nigeria so they are easily accessible you hardly see things you stopped using because they, they were broken in nigeria so but since i moved to south africa i stopped fixing things um not that i wouldn't want to fix them obviously but because i would say that the people that normally you know fix those things are not readily available and um probably buying a new one might not hurt so much especially like small small appliances like blenders and kettles and all those kind of things yes so that's a nigerian behavior that i stopped since i moved to south africa the second nigerian behavior i stopped as a nigerian who is in South Africa now is calling people Oga. <laughs> okay, so in Nigeria, like I don't know, it's a norm. You have anyone you see Oga, Oga beg now, Oga do this, Oga, Madam, Madam. Ah, like the Oga, Madam thing is too much. So that's something I have stopped. Like I, I don't even want somebody to even call me Madam or that kind of thing. Like since I, I moved to South Africa, I sometimes. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I don't want it. Don't call me madam for any reason. Um, I, I, if you call me, if you're somebody I can I can correct, I'll just kind of tell you, please don't call me madam. And I don't call anybody madam or oga. I, oga, madam is a normal thing in Nigeria. So I stopped that behavior of calling oga madam. Hmm. The third Nigerian behavior that I have stopped since i moved to south africa is african time <laughs> you know like adding time to a time let me say okay someone invited me to a party for three o'clock like if i was in nigeria i would normally say okay three. that means that party will start by five i've assumed it in my mind or i'll say okay i'll be there by five and normally you see in nigeria when you you are invited to a party and if it's three you see everybody arriving by five of half past four african time like seriously in south africa here we don't do african time we don't encourage african time like if if they give you an appointment in in a hospital or anywhere and you're meant to come by six or let's say eight and you're not there by eight sorry you miss that appointment okay and um, if it's a party they already started and nothing like african time so i since i came to south africa i stopped african time like i stopped adding time to time if if that makes sense i stopped giving myself an extra time if i need to 
get something done if i need to go uh, go to, and meet up with an appointment or if i mainly need to go and um, visit somebody that gave me an, an appointment i stopped it yes that's one very very peculiar <laughs> Thing we do in Nigeria, African time. The fourth Nigerian behavior that I stopped since I moved in South Africa is um, how far <laughs> or what's up or you know, in Nigeria normally if you see somebody like your age mate or somebody you're, you you relate to very well and you just say like it's of you to greet and say hello or whatever hello like normally in south africa i think what you do is hello if it's an english speaking person except you want to use the um, local languages um you know but in nigeria you just say how far what's up what's up you know if 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 you call your friend be like oh what's up now you know i stopped using it at the time i was even telling my parents ah daddy what's up mommy how far <laughs> you know so um since i came to south africa i don't tell people like greet you with what's up or how far and um you know it's just mainly what you tell your pairs or your friends or people in your category or within your age range in nigeria that's a norm how far what's up how you doing now you know so i stopped it i can't use it here in south africa yeah the fifth nigerian behavior that i stopped since i moved to south africa is bargaining yes since i moved to south africa i stopped bargaining normally in nigeria if you go to buy something in the shop you know that like normal apart from supermarkets where they have price tag you know that of course if somebody tells you 20 naira you're going to you'll be like oh sorry um oga ah uh -uh no be 10 naira like bargaining it's a normal thing you can't just give money like that okay i tell you 10 naira then you give me 10 naira or i tell you 100 naira you give me 100 naira no you must bargain and be like ah oga okay, now remove money now remove money now <laughs> you know you want to bargain and beat price and um and kind of see if you can get a better deal it's a normal thing in nigeria like you have to bargain and normally in nigeria they, they don't give you the real price actually because they expect you to also bargain then they will now by the time you're bargaining you will land at the real price <laughs> oh my god so um, since i came to south africa i stopped bargaining obviously for obvious reasons because obviously there are the, the the things here are like mostly price tagged and all that even with the informal markets like streets roadside corn or tomatoes by the roadside or onions i i, I no longer bargain at all at all but in nigeria oh my god i'm the king of bargaining back in the day so bargaining and trying to reduce the price or beat the price is something i stopped doing since i came to south africa the sixth and last thing i think i stopped doing since I came to South Africa, um, which is a Nigerian behavior, is carrying things for strangers. Or normally, let me just put it this way, normally in Nigeria, if you see an older person in the shop or in the street, you want to give the person a lift or you want to um, carry the person's load, you know, if the person is going your way, just carry it for the person. If the person is older or the person is kind of disabled somehow, it's a norm in Nigeria. Um, especially if you have a car and you know that that person is going your way, um, you just tend to give lifts if you, it's a normal thing, or you help them carry their loads, but it's not the norm here. I think here in South Africa, older people like, they are also strong if you want to carry something for an older person i'm sure she will tell you uh, i'm just guessing i've not tried to carry but i've tried to like excuse them on the queue and they'll be like no no it's fine you can go you can go i'm like oh okay in nigeria the older person will gladly receive or because it's a norm it's a normal thing for you to you know help want to lend them that helping hand but here in south africa they will probably say no it's fine you can you can go ahead and all that and um, I'm assuming that if you also want to help them carry something in the from in the shop or push their trolley for them or something like that, they will also say, oh, no, no, it's fine, I'm fine, don't worry. So that's one Nigerian behavior that I stopped since I came to South Africa. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're Nigerian, tell me any Nigerian behavior you have stopped, if you migrated or... Um, 
anything that correlates with you just tell me tell me on the comment section and um if you enjoyed this video please give me a, a thumbs up hit on the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed hit on the bell sign and i'll see you in my next video i hope you enjoyed bye